Apple has always restricted users to a certain amount of storage. And when that storage runs out, you begin deleting stuff. Hey. Today I'll be showing you guys a method to clear up space on virtually any iOS device. This includes iPhones, iPads, and iPod Touch models. We're going to be installing an application called iCleaner, and this is usually a jailbreak exclusive app and allows a user to clean up junk files or app caches on their device. And I'll be showing you guys how to get this application without jailbreaking in this video. And today I'll be using my iPhone SE running iOS 10, and again, this should work on virtually any iOS device. In order to do this process, you do need a few things. First of all, you're going to need a Mac or Windows PC, and you're also going to need your Lightning to USB connector. And as you guys can see here in the background, my iPod Touch is currently clearing out a lot of junk, and I'll be showing you guys just how effective this application is. And I'll be getting it here on my iPhone. So once you do have access to a computer, you're going to need to download a couple of things. Number one, you're going to download Cydia Impactor. And number two, you're going to need the iCleaner file and I'll have both of these in the description. So once you've downloaded the iCleaner zip file, go ahead and open this up. You're going to need some sort of an archiver tool. Just open this up and you will have the iCleaner IP file. Just drag it somewhere that you can access it. Now once you've got that, we wanna go ahead and open up Cydia Impactor. At this point, connect your device to your computer. And there we go. So once your device is connected to your computer, go ahead and unlock it. You don't want to be stuck at the lock screen on this while we're doing the process. So once you have your device connected, go ahead and go into Cydia Impactor. Drag this IPA file into Cydia Impactor. And you're going to have to enter a valid Apple ID and password. So I'm just going to go ahead and do this with my Apple ID and of course your password. Don't worry, all this information is confidential and no one will have access to it besides you and Apple. So go ahead and hit OK on this prompt. Cydia Impactor will begin to load. If you get a developer warning, just go ahead and hit OK. This is basically telling you that the app you're going to be installing on your device will only last around seven days before you cannot use it anymore. And if that ever happens to you, just go ahead and reconnect and redo this process. It's totally fine. And if you are a developer for the App Store, I would advise you to not use your developer ID on this. So anyways, just hit OK, and Cydia Impactor is going to install that profile onto your device. And there it is. You'll have the iCleaner application on your device. So if you try to open this app, it's not going to work because it's not trusted. And you're going to have to go into Settings, General, scroll down to Profiles and Device Management, and pick the one that looks like your email address. And I have mine blurred out for my own safety. So just hit this, hit Trust. Trust again, and there you go, that is it. So exit to your home screen, now you can open the iCleaner application. If you get any weird prompts like this, don't worry about it, just hit OK. And it's going to have this menu that's identical to my iPod Touch. Now from my experience, this application does take quite a while to clean stuff, so this is probably best used for when you're going to bed, just plug your phone in and hit start cleaning and overnight is going to be done. If not, I feel like this is going to take a very long time. So I'm just going to hit start cleaning and continue on my iPhone SE. There are two different modes, a fast mode and a secure mode. The secure mode is more thorough than the fast mode and it keeps your information safe. So as you guys can see, the secure mode takes like over an hour, which is ridiculous. And it looks like the time is slowly shrinking, but it still takes a very long time. So I'm just not going to do that. Now you guys see there's an option here for allowing temporary files cleanup. What this means is that you'll allow this application to clean out app caches, leftover files, and of course temporary files. You'll allow this application to clean out those types of things. And if you click on this option here, you can even re remove all your contacts or clean up certain contacts, which is probably not preferable unless you really just want to delete some people. And if you hit this little question mark, you will get more information about this application. All right, you guys, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Again, if your app stops working at any time in the future, just go ahead and redo this process with City Impactor on your computer and you will be good to go. And before you leave, let me go ahead and show you how much space this is cleaning out.
So I'm in the middle of editing this video right now and I'm just going to show you the space that I have on my device before cleaning. So I've used up 25 gigabytes on this iPhone and after this was completed, it did take a little while but after it was all said and done, I had only used 18 gigabytes. So it shrunk it about 7 gigabytes and that is a lot of junk. So from 25 gigabytes before cleaning and after cleaning it was only about 18 gigabytes which is awesome all right you guys please subscribe i am on my way to 10,000 subscribers and you would definitely help me out by hitting that subscribe button if you guys have any questions be sure to leave them in the comments and i will see you guys in the next video